saying, am I, maybe I'm a nervous Nelly here. Maybe I'm a little insecure. Maybe I'm not a sophisticated business. Person. What do you need to do to make you, to get that trust thing going here? Yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe uh, Steve, go ahead. You're saying that you want to do it. We just got to take you to the finish line. Go ahead, you're Steve. Asking, you're on. Steve, you're on. Take over Steve, Marcos's. Uh, you need an attorney. You're asking questions. You're, that you're already presuming that that, that you're, you're making the deal happen. So role I would play, say, what are your concerns? Make, Come on, make let's me make fall this in happen. love with you. Okay. I'm sorry. Make me fall in love with you. Make me. What's I'm insecure. I'm nervous. What can you say to me? To, Claude, I know how you feel. Claude, I was in the same position you are, you know, and I do move a little fast, but you want to get, imagine if you could, is this problem solved, you got the money, you're not worried about, give me some words. Give me Let's some slow words. it down for a minute and tell me what your concerns are. Well, you know, um, this was my grandmother's home here and I, God, I just put it out there and you're like the fourth person to call me and now you want to buy it right away. And I just, uh, Wow, you know, I'm I'm just a I'm a nervous little dental floss salesman. I <laughs> <laughs> oh, I could understand that. You know, when you're dealing with the states, this is what happens sometimes. You price it for the right money, and all of a sudden, you got it. You got people standing there waiting to give you money, and it's a great thing. You could be standing six months from now with, with, with this if you want to wait. Uh, I, can't I can't afford this house right for now. six months. Yeah, you know, it's it's too much. The utilities and everything are too much money. Well, I can understand that. I just, I'm just I just sold my grandparents' house. I know what that's all about, and I was happy to sell it. But you know what? We can make this deal happen today. I can deal with your concerns. Let's make this happen. But let's not put this off. I'm going to buy two houses today. If it, one's going to be from you or it's going to be from the next guy I'm on the phone with. Not to turn you off. I'll slow down. Let's go at your pace. But tell me what your other concerns are. Well, it's just, it's just so fast. How do I know I can trust you, Steve? You sound like a nice guy, but, you know, there's so many scam artists out there. I'll send you a contract and we're going to go, we'll go right to closing. We'll go to, we'll, we'll listen, I'll tell you what. I can close on this as fast as you want to go. I can close on this as slow as you want to go. It okay, doesn't you didn't. That was good, but you didn't address what I just insulted you. Okay, and, and you didn't address. You know, so how should he address if I accuse him of? Gee, I'm nervous. I don't know you. How do I know this isn't a scam? How do we address somebody with that kind of issue? I'm going to send you some references, Claude. Uh, gave me a couple hours. You can call three of the people I've done business with. What will that do for us next? Uh, you know, that's a good idea. I should have thought of that. You know, yeah, send me those references and uh, uh, give me a day or two and I'll get back to you on that. That sounds great. Thank you. It's 10 o'clock right now. I'm going to get those references over within a couple minutes, Claude. Um, can I get a, a yes or no from you by 10 o'clock tomorrow morning after you check the references? Oh, I'm sure I could call you around 10, 1030. Absolutely. Not around 10, at 10 o'clock sharp, please. We'll talk to you then. <laughs> I'll try, I'll give it my, okay, off the role play. You're doing good, but I want more commitment and, and stuff like, I want you to say uh, something like, Claude, you know what, I'm glad you asked for reference, or if I gave you references and they met with your personal approval today, what happens when we speak at 4.30? I want that commitment right now. You've got to stay in control. You've got to be the authority figure, you know. The fact that, you know, 10, 10.30 tomorrow, I want a commitment right now if these references meet my satisfaction with about your credibility or stuff like that. Let's go back to what I did with Steve though. Um, Steve, how do I know I can trust you? Uh, how do I know you're not a scammer? I mean, I've never heard of you. And I just put this ad out on Craigslist and everybody's calling me up and you want to do this deal so darn fast. I, I, I mean, um, I'm, a, I'm, I'm still nervous here. I'm still nervous here. Someone help me. You back with me now? If you want, you want to take another shot? Like why not? Well, you could just say, I, I, you know, have you checked out my website? You can look at the website. I've got references on there. You can talk to people I've already done business with. If you look, there's also videos on there. It shows you people I bought homes from. And we do business. I back up exactly what I say. Okay. That was good. How about you say something like, you know, Claude, I'm glad you brought that up. If I was in your shoes, in your position right now, I'd probably feel the same way. We've never met. I've never had the pleasure of meeting you. And, and, we're, and I do work very fast, so I can understand why you're a little bit nervous. Tell me what you could use for me to feel good so we can do business today and you can get a check and move on with grant and, and don't not have to worry about it. What do you need from me in order to, to make this happen, Steve? I understand your feelings. Wow, that's good. Get him doing all the work. He brought up the problem. Make him solve it. <laughs> See, the it. beauty of guts is when they bring up a problem, 
or, or some kind of issue, you turn around and say, you know, I know exactly how you feel. If I was in your position, I'd probably feel the same way. That's empathy. Right. Let's, let's use that against them. You know, say, you know what? I agree with you. You're, you're right. You're right on target. And, you know, if I was a little forceful, it's my nature. I get it from my mother. Uh, I apologize. What do you need from me in order for you to feel good today? So we can do business today. So you can get a lot of money and, and live happily ever after, after. Imagine yourself on the beach in Brazil where you got a drink with those little umbrellas in it and the pineapple sticking out and you got your favorite flip-flops on because you got all this money from this deal. How would that make you feel? There you go. Good stuff. Paint pictures in their minds. Okay, but don't, don't when they accuse you or bring up, see the beautiful thing is when they bring up a problem, a stall and an objection, they're painting themselves into a corner at that very moment. Most people will get defensive. Oh, what do you mean? Go to my webpage, check all this out and everything. See, no, what we do, we do just the opposite. And this is how we stay in control and we get a commitment. We're trying to get commitment up that yes ladder with people. And that's the thing. Who else has something? Who has a deal or something? Oh, good role plays. I love role plays. Thank you. Who else has something? That's good? Lord, Lord, I have one question. Sure. So you mentioned about cash and terms. 